Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for joining me. And I've got a couple quick updates for Lightroom on mobile. That's right, Lightroom on your phone. I love using Lightroom on my phone. I use it pretty much daily. And I'm as a portrait photographer, I love it when they add more things for portrait photographers. And this version does just that. Stick around if you're not a portrait photographer, there's still some cool things you can take advantage of. But for example, I've got a photo here, and these are two sisters, uh, Angela and Andrea, and I want to do some retouching. Now, quick actions is the little magic wand icon that we introduced a couple versions back, and I can go ahead and tap on that, and that will offer suggestions for the image that I currently have open. And I like to go right to retouch and start retouching, but now you notice something new. Instead of it applying the same retouch to everyone in the photo, you can now specify which person gets which part of the retouching. So I can say all, just like it was yesterday, but as of today, I can now tap on an individual person and notice it also zooms into their face, which is kind of helpful. If I tap on the next person, it zooms into their face. So it's pretty cool that even as it zooms into that person, it still identifies all the things you can retouch. So maybe one person's smiling, showing their teeth, next person's got their mouth closed. So it would only show the teeth on the person that has their teeth showing. So uh, for example, I could go into this person and I can say, hey, for hair, I want to uh, make the hair stand out a little bit more, add a little bit more texture and, and detail to it. So quickly and easily, it only applied it to that one person. I tap on the first person and maybe I want to do their eyes. So her eyes stood out a little bit more just by tapping it and I have a slider to make them pop even more or less. And again, only doing it to the person on the left. So quickly and easily making individual retouching for each person in your photo without having to apply it to everyone in the photo. I love that. Now that's for portrait shooters. You'll love that quick action to be able to do that. That's great. So that's it. Quick actions for people in your photos and um, you'll, and not just people, but quick actions for your, in all your photos. And you'll be able to do these cool things with them. Now, for everyone else that's not doing portraits or you don't use the quick actions, the other thing that I love is the new sharing capabilities. So when I tap on share, a whole new share sheet comes up. And the first thing you'll notice is that I now, while I'm in sharing, get to pick multiple photos. So if I wanted that photo and I scroll over and I also want this photo, I can tap and share those individual photos. Now, great, I'm gonna go back to just having one selected, but uh, just in because when I have one selected, I get the option to open it, for example, right in Photoshop if you're an iPhone user. So great to be able to open that in Photoshop on iPhone and coming to Android soon. And uh, I can also export it out in any format I want right to the camera roll. And you'll notice that Share for Web is here and also Add Border. So before I get to Share for Web, Add Border is also one of my favorite features, but until today, that had only been available on iPhone. Now it's also available on Android. And what it is, is when you say Add Border, if you're trying to share this out to a specific aspect ratio that your photo is not, like four by five for Instagram, you notice it can add the extra space around your photo in any color that you want. So that way you don't have to crop your photo to fit that Instagram aspect ratio or whatever ratio you need. You can just add the border to it. That feature has been in iPhone for a while and today comes to Android. All right, so now next up, let's go back to sharing. And this is pretty cool. If I go in and just say share on web, I get the standard, create a link, uh, copy the link, but a couple of new additions to this. Number one, You'll notice next to the word copy, there's a QR code. You can now generate your own QR code that you can download right to your phone, right to your device, share it any way you want. And that QR code will be a visual link that you can share any way you want, put it on a slide, put it in Adobe Express, however you want to share it out, a text message, whatever you want. And that anyone scanning that code will get right to your shared photos. The other thing that you can do is you can now say anyone can add photos. So I can just turn that on and allow anyone with a link to be able to add photos to my album, which is great for those um, personal events where you're doing a birthday party, wedding, whatever, and you want everyone to share the photos to the same album that they took with their phones. So I love, love, love that ability for that community aspect of the sharing. 
and uh, just a, a nice new share sheet that I'm sure you will enjoy. So I'm going to go ahead and stop and uh, delete that share for now and go ahead and download the updates to Lightroom on desktop, Lightroom Classic, Adobe Camera Raw. All these updates came out today, including the ones on your mobile devices as well. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you like my content. Bye, everybody.